Okay, my YouTube family and friends, listen, it's lunchtime. I'm doing a quick video with you guys. Um, again, there's nothing new for the classroom. It's just me still. A lot of things are the same. Um, this is my desk area. And that's me right there. My little Jamaican flag. I mean, it represents the kids who are, you know, from the islands too. They come in and they see something. My little thing for my headphones and all of that. And calculators if they need them. So most of it you already seen, guys. But this is how it looks now that the kids are here. Um, this little thing. I am allergic to math. <laughs> or if math is their favorite subject, they would stand here and just discuss it. And then those are kid, the kids who... So this is the final setup. This is where the kids are learning. This is how the tables are grouped. And so welcome to my classroom. And this is where kids come to learn each day. Some of them already excited. You saw that wall before. And this one, I love math so much I dream about numbers. So if that's their take on math, they would sit there, have my rulers, I have crayons this time. Because some of the activities they have requires them. These are a lot of whiteboards. So when we do small group or sometimes just doing some of the instruction, they'll get to use it. So there you have it. And this is my agenda for the day. This is just a warming up. <laughs> but I'm going to keep that in a corner somewhere. That was my agenda for today. Welcome, welcoming them. Telling them who I am. Getting to know them, the expectations, and to introduce the curriculum. I did kind of put a little welcome with there for them. Every day my heading is on the board. Nobody should walk in and doesn't know who I am. The next group says I enjoy math, so they would have stood there and do it. And then this activity they will do is a teacup, and on each team they would write, they have directions. Um, draw a big cup, I did it for them. So they'll talk about who they are, their character traits, their important people in their life, um, important places. They have been, and, um, and so if you notice, I have two document readers. This is a new one. Um, this one still works, but I will um, give one to another teacher to support her. She teach, she does um, the multilingual, and she had mentioned that she liked how I use the document reader. Um, so it's too expensive for her, but so I'll give her the extra one. So I did put in a ticket so they'll come in and and fix things. Yep, actually wore red. I'm in a red dress. So I had 10 dresses made with the sleeves in them. So now I'm not going to be wearing those little things anymore with the, with the sweaters to cover my arms but I will be wearing just dresses. So guys, listen, we have started. The beautiful children are here. Some of them already, you know, we have to talk to them, right? <laughs> but it's who they are, and we just have to be thankful, treat them well, help them to build their self-esteem and also to set a worth on themselves. So that's what we're supposed to do as we continue to teach the whole child, not just forcing math and reading and science into their heads, but to also teach them how to treat others, treat people, and treat themselves. I make it a great day. Miss Bev is still here, 63 and counting, but I'm here and I'm excited. And with prayers and good support, I know that we'll make it through to the end. Take care, everybody. Be good to yourselves. Bye.